Hey, Joey Blue here, and I want to tell you a little bit about the average function inside the SQL language. Well, in this case, I am selecting against the employee table, and the employees have a salary. So the average function is represented by AVG, and then whatever column you want to average against. In this case, it's the salary column. So let's execute that. And let's give it a name as average salary. And so in this case, the average salary across those records are 2,073. And so in this case, the next case, what we want to do is let's go back to our table and let's actually filter down to a subset. So let's look at the managers. So we're gonna say where manager, sorry, where job equals manager. Okay, so that's gonna give us a subset of, of the list and we wanna look at the average salary for managers. Give it a little alias there. And let's run that. So this, the average manager salary is $2,758. So we filtered down to just a subset. Now, I wanna look at one other column here for the average. And I wanna look at the commission column. And notice that not everyone gets a commission. So. I wonder what will happen if we just average the commission column. So hopefully what we get is the 300, 500, and 1400, and zero divided by four. So we got 550. Now does that look right? Let's do 1900 divided by four. 475, so I did something wrong here. Let me pull up the table again. And so we've got 800 oh, and 1400, and so that's 2200. So 2200 divided by four And yep, we got the exact same answer. So it would be a much different answer if these nulls were taken into account and we actually had 14 records. And that would actually, let's do that, 2200 divided by 14. And you can see that'd be a much different number. So with the average, whenever you're using that function, you have to remember that it does not include these nulls. It just throws those records out and it only averages across something that has a value. So that's an introduction into the average function. And there are some other functions out there that are, are useful also, and we can talk about them later.